This NPC faced a very strange issue. Despite looking pretty good and being pretty charismatic in most social interactions, he can't seem to find any matches on most dating sites. It's like most women just treat his dating profile like it's an annoying ad on your favorite mobile game. No. And you just click the no. X button every no. single time it pops no. up. The NPC feels that if he just gets one match, just one chance, he'll be able to sweep the girl off her feet without much of a problem. Unfortunately, that one chance never seems to happen because everyone sees that chance that pops up on their screen and swipes left every single time. Time. But then he met Chad. Now Chad, he's the main character of this story. Chad's dating profile is damn near perfect. You would have thought he had bots or hackers running his profiles with the amount of matches he got on a daily basis. Chad didn't need one chance. He had a abundance of chances. Too many to really know what to do with them. Every girl sliding into his DMs trying to get his time of day, but the NPC didn't quite understand why. What was Chad's secret to having such a poppin' dating profile? I gotta be honest, I was never like super deep into online dating. For a while, I kind of thought it was like a, a little weird, which is very naive. It's a very naive and old man way of thinking. But I just prefer just meeting women in person and talking to them. So I never really got super deep into like Tinder or the other shits that's online right now. And then one day I decided to help out a friend of mine who was very, very deep into Tinder but he didn't really have much success at the time. I was looking at his dating profile and I saw that he wasn't getting a lot of matches and he just came up to me and said, bro, I need your help. I'm not getting any fucking matches on Tinder and I don't know why. And even though I don't have much experience with online dating, I'm very experienced when it comes to just what women find attractive, you know? So I decided, you know what, bro, I got you. And I helped him out. I helped create, revamp, redesign his dating profile from the ground up. And it took me about, I don't know, an hour or two to just really dig down deep and to find all the good details of, okay, have this type of picture, have this type of picture, say this in your body etc so after re revamping his profile he got a match within an hour or two then another match then another match then another match in the span of 24 hours he got like at least 30 matches <laughs> compared to like one a week he used to get before i thought it was fucking nuts i was like maybe it's just him maybe he just had like this secret power that he didn't know about and i just unlocked it for him so another friend approached me and said bro i saw what you did to him you gotta hold me out now bro seriously so i did went through his profile went through a couple of pictures revamped his bio boom within i don't know 40 minutes i think that's exactly what it was 40 minutes he got a match then another match <laughs> then another match then another match. His fucking DM used to be as dry as a fucking desert. Now it was flooded. Fucking flooded. And I knew this was not a coincidence. I just had the right eye for a good dating profile and what dudes need to have women come to them. Because it's not like these dudes are fucking ugly or idiots, just unattractive. They just don't know how to properly present themselves. They're like a fucking fire gift with terrible packaging. So that's why I made this video because I know you can relate, bro. You have the power to just present yourself in such an awesome way because you're a fucking awesome looking dude. You just don't know how to showcase that. Now the first type of picture you need to include on your Tinder or whatever fucking dating site you're using is you participating in one of your hobbies. Whether it's you killing it at the gym, you fucking playing video games, you going to some type of anime convention, you fucking going to some type of party or something like that. It doesn't matter. Whatever your favorite thing to do is, have a nice flattering picture of you doing it. The main reason behind this is that you don't want to meet a girl that you find super attractive and then you are instantly turned off or even worse she's instantly not into you because she realized one of your hobbies is fucking i don't know anime she hates anime <laughs> imagine that imagine you love anime you meet this girl on tinder you guys are having a good time then you guys have a eventual in-person date and then you find out oh she fucking hates anime she doesn't know who goku is what kind of nonsense is this 
So the best way to attract a woman that you can actually connect with is just to showcase some of your actual interests on your Tinder profile. Just make it just as honest as possible and as sincere as possible because you don't want to send fucking mixed messages and catfish your whole personality, okay? We're trying to unlock the main character inside of you, not the fucking make-believe fantasy person that you're trying to become. No, that's not accurate. Be yourself, just be better. Now, the second pic you need to have on your Tinder profile is a picture of you traveling. Yes, this is super, super essential because women love to travel. There's not a single girl I have ever met who was like, what? Traveling? No, I just want to stay inside my city all the time. <laughs> I don't even like leaving my house. Like no girl thinks that. Every girl loves to travel. Of course, traveling can be hard depending on the guy. Maybe you're fucking stuck in your small town and don't have places to go. At least take a picture of you fucking in the woods or on a farm or some shit like that. Something that is out out of the ordinary element that you're used to in the regular ass environment that you've grown accustomed to. So find a picture of you just exploring, whether it's in a fucking whole nother country or just upstate, it doesn't really matter. Along that you give the sense that you like to travel to, women love that, okay? Because one thing they love more than traveling is to travel with somebody they actually like. So please, have a picture of you fucking traveling wherever, it doesn't matter. Just make it seem like you're on the go. And don't worry and be like, oh my God, but my keys, what if she expects me to take her out the country or fly her out or some crazy shit like that? Bro, no girl like realistically expects that, okay? Especially on like a first date. No woman like really thinks that unless she's like really jaded and been with like a bunch of fucking weird celebrities. No girl that you just randomly meet on Tinder will be like, so are we going to Thailand or what? Most of these women just want to fantasize about the idea of going somewhere cool and exotic with you. So as long as that you give off the type of vibe and aura that that's possible, then she will find you instantly attractive. The next pic you need to include on your dating profile is a picture of you socializing. No girl is attractive to the fucking lone wolf and the dude who's a fucking outcast, okay? That shit is not cute or sexy, despite what Twilight might make you think. Have a picture of you either talking to your friends at a party or maybe even talking to other women. Like seriously, have a picture of you socializing in some type of way. How if you have pets, a picture of you fucking playing with your dog or your cat would do a ton of positive work for you. Okay, but this that only works with like a dog or a cat. If you got like a pet turtle. <laughs> Or a snake or some weird shit. Don't post that. No girl wants to see your fucking gerbil, bro. That shit's nasty and weird. But a picture of you socializing, showing that you're out there, that you have a fucking character, that you have personality that needs to be expressed to everybody around you, that is super attractive. So please have a picture of you. Maybe take like that cliche picture of like a dude and his friend like shaking hands and laughing. Like, ha 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 ha. Go on any rich black news Instagram page and you'll find a picture of them shaking hands and laughing. Like, uh, uh. Now for the last picture. And this picture is gonna be your actual profile pic. This is gonna be the literally the first thing the girl sees when she goes to your Tinder profile. So automatically she's gonna know whether or not she finds you attractive based off this first pic. This first pic will be you either dress the fuck up I'm talking like not furry style, okay? I'm talking you either in like suit or you in the best fit possible. That's option one. Option two is just you shirtless. <laughs> yeah, that simple. The reason why these two options are pretty simple. For the shirtless option, number one, do you know what the first thing guys think when they see a woman? And all guys know this, but they kind of like afraid to admit it. But I'm not afraid. I'm going to say it right now. One of the first things guys think when they see a woman is, would I fuck her? Straight up. Would I fuck her? And women are the same way. They're not wired that differently. One of the first things they think when they see a man is, would I fuck him? And if your picture is a fucking sexy ass shirtless pic of you fucking showing your bicep, your abs, your fucking chiseled jawline, that fucking V taper of yours, the first thing she would think is, wow, I would fuck him. So don't, if you have the body for it, fucking show that shit off, bro. Don't wait for the fucking quote unquote main event for you to actually just be like surprised. I'm 
I'm actually super ripped and sexy. Nah, yo, flaunt that shit. If you got it, flaunt it. The same way fucking if a rich dude has a has a lot of money, he gets a stupid ass Rolex. You a sexy ass dude, show your sexy ass body. But yes, if you're just serious about just meeting women and having sex, then a shirtless pic for your profile picture is super optimal. But if you're not just looking for just sex, or you're just not super proud of your body right now and don't want to go the shirtless route, then you in the best fit pic you have is super ideal. I know this may seem obvious, but do you know how many fucking Tinder profiles I've seen of just dudes in like a polo t-shirt <laughs> or just a button up like they just started their fucking accounting shift? Like, no, that's not sexy, bro. Have like a super nice fit on. Like, have something that like whatever like the fit you had, like you everybody has like that one picture of like super fire fit. Like, you know you was killing it that day. Like, you still go back to that picture and thought, man, what a fucking day. I look cool as fuck. Make that your profile pic, okay? Okay. But make sure this picture's recent. Don't have like a picture that's 10 years old <laughs> of you and your glory days. Like, no, I have a picture from the last couple of years that you still look at least relatively similar in. No like drastic weight changes or anything like that. And you have a perfect fit, make that your profile pic. Because she'll look at that profile and pick and go, oh, wow, he, he's, a track, he's an attractive looking guy. So please, those are your two options. Either have a super killer fit on or just be shirtless, bro. The exact opposite of a killer fit. <laughs> Now, you can be like these other NPCs who continue to get five matches a week on a good week. And half of those matches are just women who they don't even really find attractive. They just match right because, hey, fuck it. She looks obtainable. Like, no, you don't want to be like that. You want to be the fucking cool ass main character who gets every girl that he actually wants. That girls are craving him and he's almost turned off by how much they're into him. You want to be that guy. You don't want to be the guy who's fucking desperate for the swipe, right? No. Now, if you want me to do what I literally did to my two friends and revamp your dating profile from the brown up, please, I do offer a coaching program where I help you improve your dating profiles, but also a whole lot of other shit when it comes to looks maxing. I'm talking weekly calls, programs, daily check-ins through text messages. I have a lot of shit that I can barely even remember that I offer. <laughs> it's so much shit. But I have to be honest. It's kind of expensive. But answer this for me, okay? How often are you ignored by women that you find extremely attractive? How often are you intimidated by men who should be your equal? How often do you look back at old pictures of yourself and just cringe at your appearance? How often do you look in the mirror and just sigh? in frustration because you don't like what's looking back at you well with my coaching program that shit ends today so if you want more personalized and hands-on advice and are ready to invest in your looks please check out the first link in the description below now i want you to know that i don't make these videos because i have to or anything i make these videos because i want to I want to share the knowledge I have. I want to help my brothers, because that's what I consider you guys, brothers. I want to be that guy who sits you down and goes, bro, this is all you need to do. Because I never had that growing up, and I don't think it's fair for me to have all this fucking information and not share it with you guys, my brothers. You, brother, especially you. So please, bro, do me a favor. Like, comment, subscribe share the video all that good youtube bullshit <laughs> every other youtuber says and please have a good day i love you and i'll see you in the next one